Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and I want to introduce you to the love of my life. Well, I fell in love with this book when I seen it online in December and it proved difficult to buy. Now looking at the title, I'm sure you all think that I bought it from Amazon Japan, but in fact I didn't. Amazon Japan wouldn't ship this particular book to Australia. Uh, this book I actually was able to get from an Australian bookshop that uh, specializes in Japanese books. It's called Kanokanoa and it's one of my favorite bookshops ever. And I know you all thought it was going to be Amazon, but it's not. It's a bookshop in Sydney. So Kanokanua have uh, branches around the world where you might be able to buy this book. Otherwise, uh, now that it's been on Amazon Japan for a month or so, there might be other sellers that will ship it to other countries. The links to buy are below the video. Now, it roughly translates to Travel Diary of a Cat. But, you know, really, the cover with all those kitty cats, man, I was just in love when I seen it. So it's got this beautiful dust jacket with all these plump little cats on it, which folds out. And we've got this lovely cover here that's matte on white card that you can colour in as well with this gorgeous cat on it that's just too cute for words. Lovely green background with white outlines. And gorgeous colour inside. Now I love it when we have so much colour in colouring books. It's like such a treat because that's such an expensive thing to add. Of course there's ads for other books on the back and uh, just quickly glancing through those I think I've got pretty well uh, all of them and uh, if I haven't shown you already um, I, you know I certainly will they're in my pile that never ends. And on the back we've got this gorgeous cat with his plates full of food and again that green outline with the white lines. Now you guys know I love cute and whimsical and I also love animals so this is full of cute whimsical chubby little cats and they are adorable. So we start off with our little coloured images here. I'm sure that says something really clever and interesting and I wish I could read it but I can't. Uh, then we've got some blending techniques over here and we should be able to follow along with the pictures if we wanted to, you know, replicate what they're doing. They're using Pigmas and uh, Stedler over there, so we're familiar with those brands. And over here we've got some little ideas on stippling and shading and hatching and other pencil techniques so we should be able to learn just from looking at the pictures if we wanted to. Now I really love how they've included um, how to colour in the cat and it's really nice that started us off with you know the colours that they used and you know where they went so if we study the pictures for long enough we should be able to understand how to colour in the kitty cat and I think that's really useful for people like me that aren't natural colourists and you know want an idea on how to start and what to do. And so we've got these gorgeous images over here of how it looks in different colour schemes. And again, I think that's just a really lovely thing to help people, you know, like me that aren't natural at colouring and, uh, you know, it can all seem overwhelming. So we start off with spring and here's our gorgeous kitty cat with wings and lovely little love hearts. And he's printed on beautiful white, medium quality paper with lovely crisp black line art making it super easy for us to see. And he gets himself into all sorts of mischief and he has of course lots and lots of friends who are kitty cats and they do baking and cooking together. And it's just so adorably whimsical that I just fell in love with it. And we've got our little, you know, cats out here and up to mischief and all sorts of things that they're doing. They're just so cute. 
cat eating an ice cream and going on an adventure, thinking about going to Paris or traveling around the world. And it is called um, Travel Cat Diary, so you know he's allowed to be imaginative and go around the world and do all sorts of things that our kitty cats at home probably don't do. And he goes to cafes and has coffee. This cat has a better life than me, I swear. And he's got little doggy friends as well. Now some of these are quite plain, but I think the idea is that you can add stripes and spots and patterns if you wish. Or you can just colour him solid if you want to do that as well. I've also got a little bunny rabbit over here. And so here is the map of, you know, where he's gone and what he's doing on his little travel cat adventure. And now he's moving into summer and he's got his little mermaid outfit on. We're covering up his little, um, little bits and pieces there. So it's time to go to the beach, build sandcastles and, you know, maybe even just relax and take it easy. meet some real mermaids on this adventure and then he's going to go to Greece it looks like Santorini head out in his little fishing boat maybe catch something for lunch before relaxing in a big fluffy bed So there's cats in pretty well every page here, as well as lots of other elements. There's some pictures that are more detailed than others, but you know, they're all sort of quirky and cute. Here's the shading, etc., that they've done. And now we move into autumn, which is what we're moving into in Australia, so that seems fitting. We've got lovely trees, beautiful big mushrooms, and of course he's found my colouring book library and he's in there reading books and maybe he's looking for a colouring book to colour in. He's come to the right place. doing a bit of painting. I love these drawings where he's part of the flowers. It might be a little girl cat. It's so cute. And of course it's Halloween time now. We've got these adorably fluffy sheep. nice afternoon tea before we move into winter and look at that cute little bunny rabbit oh more bunny rabbits so cute kitties and bunnies living happily in harmony in winter and so we've got as cards king and queen of the castle this gorgeous bubble bath. I've never seen a cat happy to have a bubble bath, but in colouring books they are. Gorgeous snowflakes and ice skating. Beautiful penguins. And some cute little polar bear friends as well. snowman it's really got it all and a Christmas scene of course as well 
And this is our last scene of all our little kitty cats home from their adventures, dreaming of the things that they've seen. And this lovely little closing page. And that's the end of our Travel Cat Diary. I hope you guys enjoyed that colouring book review. I love this book. It's so super cute and quirky. The links to buy it are below the video. Until next time, happy colouring.